Should a blind person be allowed to carry and conceal a firearm? That is the question an Iowa gun law has been raising in the neighboring state of South Dakota. The ability to carry a concealed weapon in South Dakota requires only a standard firearms license and advocates for the blind. In that state now argue that the gun possession laws should place no additional restrictions on them, regardless of their visual impairment. In Iowa, sheriffs are specifically prohibited by law from restricting the blind person from possessing guns. South Dakota authorities have, until now, left the matter to the discretion of the sheriff's office in each county of the state. If they're legally in a position that they can get one, uh, the law does not prohibit someone or require us to do eye tests. In reality, however, not very many legally blind people apply for permits. I haven't seen very many people with white canes or guide dogs in our line of people that show up daily to, to apply for a permit. The president of the South Dakota Association of the Blind has been leading the effort in the state to enroll a guns for the blind law similar to the one in Iowa in an effort to promote the integration of blind people with American society at large. But detractors say it is a safety risk, worrying blind people might be more prone to unintentionally injuring themselves and others. Gun control is always a hot subject in America where the Constitution protects the citizens' right to bear arms. In December last year, the debate was reignited after 20 children and six adults were murdered at Sandy Hook Elementary School in Connecticut by an atomic rifle-wielding killer. President Obama led a push for increased gun control in January, which was ultimately defeated in the Senate in April. However, in anticipation of the stricter gun laws, applications for firearm permits increased dramatically.